All of the ninjas have returned in Grand Summoners Global. Like you see this banner, everybody's here. You got the new Mizuki, you got the old Mizuki, you got Ginzo, you got Kisaragi, you got literally everybody in this banner and come to find out there are a lot of featured units on this banner and usually a banner with all saga units is deemed to be pretty solid most of the time but nowadays with ascended units being a thing is this banner still worth it or should you just save your crystals for something else let me tell you what value you're getting with these units you know i, I redid this part of the video because a lot of the stuff that I was saying didn't really even have to be said when it comes to rest these ninjas. And apart from Water Mizuki or 12G being the main star of the show, the other ones are extremely lackluster, which is kind of sad. Even my favorite ninja from one of the sagas, Shuri is no longer viable really. When it comes to damage dealers, there's just so many better options and it's like, why would I even use Shuri? Even the fact that she's a ramping damage dealer isn't enough to warrant me to actually try to use this character. Now granted, some of these ninjas are still pretty solid, like Kisaragi still gives you a massive attack buff, very good in sustained comps if you need that attack buff, but if you don't need it, then you're not gonna be turning to her. Same thing with Amine. Amine is a character that gives you light and dark damage buffs but she also suffers from that whole thing where i feel like you mainly want to use her in a sustained comp you can possibly possibly use her in a nuke comp if you have enough art gauge and if you're fast enough to actually pop her true art to buff up whatever unit you want to buff up but i think it's a little bit hard to do even to nowadays standards with all the crazy amounts of you know passive art shin buffs we have in the game it will still be kind of difficult to actually get her into that true third eye then get her another 200 art gauge instantaneously but those are like the only two ninjas that are still kind of okay like if you look at regular mizuki regular mizuki is just a hellfire bot if you're not fighting hellfire stages you're not using Using this character like this banner has Shiki if Shiki is ever on a banner it's just bad and as well to me there are players that will defend Shiki with their life and talk about she's not a bad unit look <sighs> I'm just gonna say it, right hand on the Bible, God can strike me down if I'm lying, but she was never good. She has never been a top tier option in this game. She has always just been a mediocre unit. Also, the boy Saku got absolutely cooked. This dude is all about mitigating damage when it comes to water damage. That's all he can mitigate, and he's not even the best for it. Like, there's other characters in the game that do it better. Like on the tier list, bro, they got this man in F tier. I'm not one for tier list, but whenever you see something like this, this is sad. Now you may have noticed I haven't even talked about Sakuya yet. Like, is Sakuya even good? She's one of the other newer ninjas that came out. And the thing about Sakuya is that, yeah, she's still pretty solid. Like, even nowadays, I would say she's okay. It's just that a lot of people don't like her gimmick. And if you don't know what that gimmick is, she is able to place kunais with her skill. Once she uses her true art, she'll detonate all the kunais she has planted. When she detonates them, they will actually make her true art scale up in terms of damage so she hits even harder and she's also buffing up everybody's physical damage when she's doing it and she also has an evasion buff too which is pretty strong like with the art you're able to buff up evasion based on the amount of kunais you have in the ground which is kind of fun to mess around with like you can actually dodge stuff with that and i've done it a few times it's, it's pretty fun but unfortunately a lot of people consider that whole kunai placing type play style and all that very um unfun like a lot of people are just like why would i even do this whenever i could just use mikey or whatever else and just blow up whatever's in front of me and not have to think about actually using a unit because heavens forbid if we have to think in this game but yeah she's fun to me i like using her i wouldn't use her all the time though because it would kind of get a little bit boring after a while and you definitely would just want to opt in for a little bit of a faster clearing unit but if you ever want to mess around with a character mess around with the uh, sakuya she's fun to use and i've pretty much said my piece on every ninja in this saga and it really sucks that this saga is so trash like if this was the cross the blaze banner there would be a lot more incentive to kind of summon or even like a phantom sniper banner or even with kob nowadays well kob i, I would say is almost in the same boat as ninjas but not entirely because there are still some good units but a lot of these characters are just way too old to nowadays standards and, and let me just say this before i even talk about like the whole verdict and all that i like too how they try to incentivize people who want to spend money to be like hey you know you get a banner unit guaranteed on the final step like do you see how many units are featured it's not like you're guaranteed to get 12th generation mizuki which by the way is the only reason why you would summon on this banner which that's a good segue point 
for the verdict. You are only summoning on this banner if you want 12G. And even then, I don't think it's worth it. Like, it doesn't seem like a banner that 12G can carry on his own. And the fact that Fate has already been announced for Global and it's coming out within a week from now, it's really hard to recommend this banner. And because of that, I would say this banner is safe to skip. Unfortunately, there's just not that many good characters on it. And I think this is an unfortunate outcome when it comes to the Shinobi Saga or the Ninja Saga, whatever you want to call them, is that a lot of these units aren't built to be used in every single situation. A lot of them are built for very niche things, like Mizuki with Hellfire, Saku for water units, Shiki, whatever she was supposed to do back in the day because she still hasn't done her job. That's all I gotta say for this one. Thank you all for coming out. Tell me down below. Actually, don't tell me down below if you're going to be summoning on this banner. Because I don't want to know. Either way, that's going to be it for this one. Thank you all again for coming out. If you enjoyed this video, have a check out either one of the videos popping on the screen right now. Great content. Guarantee you'll love them. Oh, and one more thing before you leave. Don't forget to drink water.